And I don't want to say Khan Academy. Khan Academy is not perfect. I mean, our team, we have a list, you know, 100 items long of all the things we need to fix and all of the things that aren't perfect on the site that we need to make better. Um, but at the end of the day, we are a, a site that we assume so our intent is that someone should just be able to use it, like Google or Facebook. You know, you know no one had to have Facebook training or, uh, or Google training. So hopefully at least the technology, we can get it to that point that a teacher can hopefully say, okay, I can see how to use this. We can give them many examples of how it's used in the classroom. Uh, if if uh, the initial stages, we can have workshops with teachers to help explain it. Um, the funny thing here is, in a lot of um, you know, talking to people in the U.S., you know, in your, if you're in an education school, they'll talk to you about differentiated instruction, which means let me give everyone education for that student. They'll talk about mastery-based learning, which is essentially what I talked about, master concepts before you move on. They talk about self-paced instruction. And then I ask someone, when they were teaching this to you, was it, was it differentiated? Was it self-paced? Was it, they're like, no, they just lectured at us. And I was like, no, if, if they want you to do this in your classroom, you have to experience that yourself as a student. And so I think there's actually a big push. There should be a push that the schools of education should not be lecture-based. The schools of education should be differentiated, mastery-based. Um, but yeah, I, I, don't, I don't have a, a simple answer. The one point of optimism I have is that all of this is happening much faster than I would have expected. Uh, despite that it's all, you know, it's, I, you know, literally two years ago is one person. Now we're, you know, last year we were like 15 people. You guys are a small team. Uh, so it's, it's a bunch of scrappy people just trying to do something, but it is happening. You know, 20,000 class, it was funny when we, um, when Los Altos started, went district wide with Khan Academy, we said, oh, this is fun. We're doing this as a small scale. But then the Gates Foundation, which is doing things globally around the world, they, they're like, this is the largest, they call it blended learning study ever, ever. On the, there's never been a district. So I was like, well, that's something. Uh, and blended learning means you both use physical and you use uh, technology. Um, so, you know, and even the 20,000 classrooms, that's a scale that people haven't seen yet. Uh, maybe this time next year, that may be 50,000 or 100,000 classrooms. Uh, once we translate and localize, maybe we can get it even more. But so, we're getting a lot of scale, a lot of traction, but that's still small compared to the globe. You know, that's, now we're talking we have to get to 10 million classrooms or something like that.